quickly wanted to start off this vlog. It's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you spent the day with your loved ones or people that are close to you. Very thankful for this platform, my family, friends, everything I have and wanted to express my gratitude for you guys. I'm very thankful to document my life and be able to engage with you all and have just a great community here. Very thankful for all of the kindness over the past couple of years and I just wanted to express that gratitude really quick as I start off this vlog, but it's Thanksgiving. We're about to head to my dad's house. Wanted to quickly share my outfit. I always wear comfies for Thanksgiving. Never been one to really dress up. So wearing something really comfy. It's all from Daily Drills, which I love Daily Drills. I love their stuff. The quality is so good. So the sweater, cream, really soft, buttons up the front. I don't know if you can see that. It has their logo on the back. And then same with these white little boxer shorts. They're from Daily Drills as well. I believe these are still available. This I had to literally be online on the site five minutes before the drop to be able to snag this sweater. Their stuff goes so quick. So here's the full fit, all white, which might be a mistake with food. And then of course, comfy little Birkenstock slides. And this will be the fit. Christian and I quickly made some mac and cheese and then we're gonna bake it when we get to my dad's house. I believe this is what I brought last year, but it's not the same recipe, but I did do mac and cheese. So we're doing it again, just a different recipe this time. So we're gonna head out the door and head to my dad's. I'm so hungry and so excited to be together and eat all of this yummy food. to head out the door and go to my dad's and I'll talk more in the car once I get in it but I wanted to quickly share my outfit because I think this jacket is so cute and it's perfect for fall winter it would be a great Christmas gift for like your sister or something and I really love it and it comes in so many colors so this jacket is from free people I know that there's a dupe on Amazon and it's way cheaper so I'll link both for this jacket. Got it in this cream color. It buttons up, has zippered pockets, really, really comfy. And then I'm just wearing this white Brandy Melville tank. I'll link this as well with just like a bralette underneath. And then I'm wearing some Lululemon Align flare leggings. And I got these hemmed to fit because they were really long. And this is the fit. I'll link it down below. I just pulled up to my dad's house. He left to go out of town today. He's always in and out of town between Orlando and Vero. He goes back and forth a lot, probably like every other week and spends a couple days there and then back home. 
but yesterday I had my brother take the Christmas decorations down from the attic and when my dad comes home the Christmas tree is gonna be up and all decorated for him and for us in the holidays coming up I'm really excited last year we put up the Christmas tree really late I think it was the week of Christmas or the week before Christmas that I panic came over after a work day and put up the tree within like 45 minutes I was like okay we're, we're doing this there's no way that I can spend a Christmas in this house without a tree it just doesn't make sense so this is my childhood home I grew up in this home I was born into this home I spent like 24 years of my life at this home I lived at home after college for a couple years and then I moved in with Christian this is like the only home I've ever known and I feel really lucky to have never moved moved out of it and I feel so lucky that this is the home that I grew up in and I never wanted to leave Orlando never wanted to leave family for college just never was the type to like want to go away I love my family I love my dad I love my home so I just have always been that oddball kid that never wanted to leave home and then um, came back after college lived here for a couple of years honestly thought that I'd be out sooner than I was but um, it was just like hard financially to afford like a place on your own and I, it was my first job out of college I wasn't making really any money so I lived here longer than I thought saved up money moved out and yeah anyways I just got off the phone with my dad and I was like you're gonna come back home and it's gonna be a Christmas wonderland in the living room so I'm waiting on my sister to get here she's gonna help me decorate the tree I just took a huge trash bag of clothes and some shoes like some older running shoes things like that and donated them in this bin that's in the Target parking lot just thought with like the holiday season coming up and things that there's always a family or someone in need that really needs clothes like that there's like sweat sets in there clothes for warm weather cold weather things like that so hopefully it reaches a family that really needs that stuff and I made me realize that I really need to be better about donating more throughout the year instead of just around the holidays so I did that it was honestly sitting in my closet for a month so I really needed to get it out it always feels really good to like declutter and go through things like I went through a couple weeks ago all my kitchen cabinets and like reorganized things I went through all my drawers I went through my closet bathroom things like cleaned everything out and reorganized everything so that feels really good always doing that and I want to do that like every couple of months but anyways I didn't really vlog much yesterday because you know how Thanksgiving is you just like get into this food coma and you're so tired we really didn't do anything we watched like a Christmas movie the football was on Christian took a nap but we're gonna pick up the vlog today I'm probably gonna end off this vlog later today and start another vlog for the weekend and try and take advantage of the days that I have to really film as much content for youtube as i can i finally posted a youtube video i'm so behind on editing videos and getting them up honestly um work is i like hate that i'm even saying this but um my co-worker that we hired two months ago now yeah two months ago she's no longer with us anymore so we are hiring again and now it's just a little bit overwhelming at work it's just been overwhelming this past week she left on or got let go on tuesday so yeah i'm just a little bit overwhelmed i finally was feeling like stable at work and um organized and just like i had my own stuff to work on and so did she and now it's just chaos again and i'm wondering what oh, my sister is texting me that she's on her way and I'm just wondering when I'll get back to that feeling of stability with my job and sometimes it's just a lot and it's kind of um, hard to juggle right now and I feel like I was just going through all of these emotions like a couple months ago and then I was like okay this is it like we're good I have someone here to help and now Sorry, my camera just fell off the dash I need to get a new car mount I've had this one for a couple of years and just gets unstuck to the windshield but what I was saying is just kind of overwhelmed with work again, which I just thought that I was finally out of and we're back. 
again. So that's always fun. I mean, there's nothing that I can do, honestly, but hopefully we find someone soon that really meshes well and understands the job and the workload and the tasks and just everything. Yeah, so fingers crossed we find someone before the end of the year. So that's just a little job update. I felt like I was finally like breathing because yeah, and now we're just back in chaos. So it's just, it's been rough. It's been rough. Um, it's been, life has been really testing me with this job and things like that, but we'll, we'll get through it and it'll be good. And we'll find a perfect person that will just fit well and hopefully stick and stay around and work with me on a daily basis and sit next to me. So that's a little job update. I'm going to head inside. My sister's on her way. We're going to decorate this tree and get the house all ready for Christmas. And my dad's going to come home. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I got the new iPhone this past week. Um, the iPhone 15 Pro Max just reminded me because I saw it in the viewfinder, but, um, I really like it. I ordered it. Um, came really quick. I ordered it last Friday and yeah, it came in. I really like it. I got it in black with this light pink case and I also ordered a pink Octobuddy, but it's like kind of on back order off Amazon, weirdly enough. And I want it to kind of like blend in with my phone case. So I ordered that and that should be here, I think in December, which is fine. But I really like this. I have never really had a black phone. I think I've only had a black iPhone once and I've always just gone with like the gold or the white or whatever color they have, but got black this time. But the only thing too is like I had to get all new chargers for everything. So I ordered like a bunch of chargers off Amazon that are like 10 feet long. So anyways, I'm gonna go inside, decorate the tree, get it all set up and my dad's gonna come home, have it be a winter wonderland and super ready for Christmas, so I'm excited. My dad is also the cutest person ever. He framed one of our engagement photos. This was his favorite one. And there's just some photos of like my mom, friends, family. I'm a twin, if you didn't know. So I've always just had my brother and now like obviously a younger sister too, but this is me and my brother and that's my mom, mom's sister. This is me and my brother. Sorry, there's such a bad glare. We matched a lot, <laughs> little gap baby clothes. There's this too, that's me. I've always had like really curly hair growing up. And I'm wondering if my daughter will have, or even my son will have really curly hair like that too. And then obviously it kind of like straightened out as I got older, but here's me and my sister. We matched too. <laughs> like at first I matched with my twin brother. And then as I got older, me and my sister would match. This is where we're gonna put the Christmas tree right in between these two chairs. These are my favorite ornaments to go through. We've had these since we were little. Little ice cream, cupcake, snowman, nutcracker, Santa, strawberry, a peach. These are just so cute. Some wooden reindeer. Just my favorite ornament box to go through. And then all of these red bows that we always scatter. We always put bows on the top of the tree as well. Erin and I just finished decorating the tree with all these ornaments and bows. Now he's gonna come home to this tree in his living room. <laughs> I literally thought I left my vlog camera at my dad's house because I was there earlier this afternoon decorating my dad's tree for Christmas and it wasn't in my purse and I go to get in my car to drive there. I When I get in the car, I guess I put my purse on the camera and I didn't look and then when I was driving there I almost got halfway there I went to look for my lip balm and my purse and I picked my purse up and I saw it sitting there on the seat so I turned around and came back home but I haven't picked up my camera since I got home and I just opened up an Amazon package and I found the Laneige peppermint on Amazon I didn't shop the Sephora sale this year and I was gonna shop it but I'm not a VIB Rouge so by the time it came to my turn to buy this since I'm just a VIB, when my availability opened up, it was completely sold out, so I didn't get a chance to buy it, but I bought it on Amazon, and I just linked this on my Instagram story today, and it's on sale. It's only like $1.50, closer to $2 off on Amazon, but it's still on sale, and for it being sold out, 
and like a limited edition flavor or scent i don't know what to call it a flavor or a scent um but for it being like a limited edition and for it to be on sale on amazon and all the other ones are full price amazing so i can link it if it's still available maybe it's still on sale i don't know it is black friday so i don't know if that has anything to do with it but got this really good i have the gummy bear one of this and i love it it's velvety almost on your lips i prefer this over the pod i have the pod in pumpkin spice i got this last year and i also have it in vanilla i like this too because it's peppermint and before i go to bed i don't always like to put something pumpkin flavored or scented on my lips before i go to sleep so i always just do my aquaphor because i have the big tub of it on my bedside table so it's just easy to remember as i'm about to go to sleep to put on aquaphor because it's sitting there and sometimes i just prefer this over this i don't always like to put my finger in a product i don't really notice a difference maybe this lasts a little bit longer on your lips as opposed to this but the consistency is relatively the same velvety smooth not sticky so i can link this i also got some of these little scrunchies that don't crease your hair and they're perfect for working out. So I got a three pack of these to tie my hair up and honestly to prevent breakage as well. I have some breakage like around honestly everywhere but it's easy for hair to get broken right here if you're putting it in a tight ponytail or a slick back bun or anything like that. So I got these good for workouts you can like put your hair on top of your head and get it completely out of the way without it completely creasing it so i'm excited i'm about to go work out actually it's friday i want to just keep the routine going for the week so i think i'm just going to walk on the treadmill and do a form workout really quick to end the night and then we're going to do some steak salads for dinner i am going to wash my hair tomorrow because we're going to be doing something fun and i'm going to start up a new vlog tomorrow for the weekend and end off this video tonight but we're doing something fun tomorrow so i think i'm gonna rewash my hair and i think i'm gonna take advantage of me washing my hair tomorrow morning and sleep in a hair mask i'm gonna do oiling my scalp and using the big more grow serum tonight and then sometimes i put i use this on my face most nights actually it's just almond oil it's moisturizing i mix it with my moisturizer and i use this a lot and i also love the goop serum it's just really pricey for the little bit that you get so i kind of switch on and off between both of these because this is really affordable i think it was like eight maybe nine dollars and you can use this everywhere in your hair on your face on your body everywhere so a really good multi-purpose oil doesn't make me break out but then again like i don't really know what type of skin i have now um compared to before since i was on accutane but it doesn't make me break out post accutane i actually just got a really big zit the other day because i started my period and i usually don't get really big zits but i had like one right here and one right here so it's always just a surprise when i get a zip but it goes away really quickly so for that i am thankful but yeah i use that so i'm probably going to use that on my ends this on my scalp take advantage of me washing my hair in the morning I just finished my workout and prepped dinner we're gonna do steak salads for dinner we get this beef sirloin from costco it's really really good so what we put in the salad i just cut up some freshly washed romaine tomato blue cheese red pepper you can do any type of pepper i do love those little sweet peppers red onion cucumber avocado this is the dressing that we use this Italian dressing by Primal Kitchen. And this will be our dinner. It's really, really yummy.
I got out of the shower a little bit ago, put on pajamas, and I did my little LED face mask that I shared in my last vlog. I've been doing this every day. I love it. Um, I'm excited to see the results that LED light brings. So I'll link it again. I really have been liking that, and it's so easy to just put it on and do whatever. So now I'm about to get ready for bed. I'm gonna do my hair mask. I'm also gonna tan my face a little bit. I feel like it's come off a little since I first put it on. And I'm using the Lux Unfiltered number 12 face drops, bronzing face drops. And I just mix it with a moisturizer. Now I'm gonna oil my scalp. First, I'm gonna do the Vegamore serum. And I love this because you can kind of put this on. I've talked about this a couple times on my channel. And I love it because you can use this every single day. You don't have to just use it when you're gonna wash your hair because it just like dries. My camera battery light is flashing at me. Let me change my battery really quickly. Now I'm taking the Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp Hair Oil. This is a really affordable oil. I'm going it through. It's gonna make my hair. all over my clothes. Ooh, I hope that comes out. I'm really scared that this is like... Oh my god, I need to, I need to change. I need to change. This can literally like ruin these. Okay, I just had to throw that PJ top in the washing machine and quickly spray something on it because I got, it's, that's never happened before, rosemary oil literally all over it and I'm freaking out and crossing my fingers that it comes out because I love that BJ set. Hopefully it comes out in the washer. I just like sprayed something on it really quickly and threw it in the wash with laundry that I was already planning on washing. I can't take myself seriously on camera with my hair looking like this, but <laughs> we're gonna braid it back. And I just like threw on something that I literally don't care about if it gets messed up. This sweatshirt is like $10 off Amazon. I've had it for like three years. I'm just gonna add some oil to the ends. And then I'm just gonna sleep in a braid. Okay, I just quickly braided my hair. This is honestly the most comfortable way to sleep when you have oil in your hair, so it's like not in your face. It's not causing any more breakage because it's in a braid. Now I'm gonna brush my teeth and then I'm gonna use this to help have my face match my neck. But I wanted to go ahead and end off this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this few days, couple of days, Thanksgiving vlog. I'm gonna pick up the camera and start a new vlog tomorrow morning, so stay tuned. I'm gonna do a weekend in my life. We're doing something so fun tomorrow night and I'm so excited. So I'll be vlogging. Stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.